A new feature that is available as part of Easy2 4th Cert is push to load when using CPDLC over the FAN's data link network. Simply put, push to load is the FMS's ability to effortlessly load a revised clearance that is part of an ATC uplink message. This not only reduces the amount of button pushing and CCD use required by the crew, but it also lowers the potential for human error when modifying a flight plan. The uplink messages that are loadable by the FMS can be seen here. Note that uplink messages on Easy2 4th Cert can only be pushed to loaded over fans and not ATN. Without any further ado, let's jump into some operational examples to see the push to load function in action. The first example we'll look at is receiving a CPDLC DCL departure clearance before our flight from Albuquerque to Phoenix. Before logging on to receive a DCL, it is important to have the filed flight plan entered into the FMS active flight plan. When ATC sends the DCL to the FMS, the clearance will either be a free text stating as filed, or if the clearance contains a reroute, a push to load flight plan modification will be included in the DCL uplink message. This push to load modification will only work if the FMS active flight plan contains the filed flight plan prior to CPDLC logon. Continuing with the example of receiving a DCL, we'll now look at actual interactions with EZ2. Here, a logon to KUSA was performed, and shortly after, a new uplink message was received. This uplink message contains a reroute as evidenced by the cleared route clearance message element. Scrolling through the message, you will now see an insert prompt at the end of the message. This is the prompt used to insert or push to load the new clearance. But what exactly will be inserted into the flight plan? Sure, there is the free text portion of the clearance, but the FMS doesn't actually do anything with the text. What it uses to create the modified flight plan is what is contained in the route clearance element of the uplink message. Return back to the first page of the message and select Review just beneath the cleared route clearance element. This will take you to the ATC flight plan review page. I want to pause here for a moment to point out that even though this video shows the Atomic 3 departure procedure included in the loadable portion of the clearance, the FAA is not currently including SIDs in the loadable portion of the clearance, and as such, the crew would need to manually insert the SID and departure runway into the flight plan. Scrolling through the pages, the waypoint names and any associated speed and altitude constraints are displayed. This is what will be loaded into the flight plan upon selection of the insert prompt. Return back to the ATC uplink message, advance to the last page of the message, and select Insert. Two things happen when Insert is selected. The first is that the amended ATC clearance is displayed as a pending flight plan change in the waypoint list. And secondly, the Insert prompt disappeared from the last page of the uplink message. The Insert prompt is always removed anytime the flight plan is in a pending state. Scroll through the waypoint list and verify the changes just as you would when making any other type of flight plane modification, except do not activate the changes just yet. Before selecting Activate, it is imperative that you return back to the uplink message and accept the clearance. An ATC clearance is not valid and should not be acted upon until the message status changes to Accepted. Once the status shows Accepted, the Activate prompt can then be selected. Note that the prompt at to right changes from ATC clearance back to review to indicate that the flight plan is no longer in a pending state. Discontinuities may be present and should be cleaned up as appropriate. Additionally, the departure runway will need to be manually selected. Next, we'll look at a brief example of receiving a loadable clearance in flight on our way from Albuquerque to Phoenix. We have just passed over the Tanner intersection when a new uplink message is displayed in the ATC log page. ATC is requesting us to proceed direct to the Gallup VOR. Advance to the last page and look for the insert prompt to indicate that this clearance can be loaded into the FMS. As expected, selecting the prompt creates a pending flight plan change to proceed direct to Gallup. Return back to the uplink message to accept the clearance. Once the message status changes to accepted, the pending flight plan may be activated. One final note when using push to load. 
If at any time when the insert prompt is selected and the clearance fails to load properly, the crew should reject the clearance and revert to voice.